In this lesson, we're going to be going over the selection tools in Photoshop. I'm going to be using this photo called Profile Pick. So if you want to follow along, just go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. I'm going to zoom in just about 25% for me on my computer right now. 22%. Perfect. So in Photoshop, you have a few different selection tools, and those come right beneath our Move tool. Over on the left, we have our Marquee tool. We've used that to create a vignette, the elliptical one. You also have the Rectangle Marquee tool. We have this Lasso tool, and under there, you have the po Polygonal and Magnetic Lasso tool. And then we have the Quick Selection tool and the Magic Wand tool. I'm going to walk through all three of these and show you what they do. So the Rectangular and all the Marquee tools, basically it's a selection where with the Rectangle, I can just click and drag. It's a square or a rectangle. If you hit the shift key while you're dragging out, it's a perfect square. And when you have a selection, one of the things you can do is copy and paste. So with this background selected, I can press Command C on my keyboard, Control C if you're on a PC, and then Command V to paste, Control V if you're on a PC. And now I have this layer one, and if I uncheck this eyeball right here to make the background unvisible, or invisible, you have this layer one right here. And now we can take this, edit this, do anything we have with this selection. Same goes for the elliptical marquee tool. So I can select this area right here. I can then use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it around. And you can hold shift and hit the arrow keys to nudge this around a little bit further than if you're just pressing the arrow keys then copy and paste. Maybe you just want a circular part of an image. Next we have the lasso tool. So the lasso tool is like drawing on a marquee basically. So if I click and start dragging and holding down I can create a custom shape. You got to make sure that you close the shape though. So you can't just press a line, you got to close the shape. And Now I can copy and paste you can see that I have that selection. Pretty cool. The next one is the polygonal lasso tool. This, instead of clicking and holding and dragging, you click once and then you keep clicking and create a shape however you want. And then you have to click the start of the shape to close it. And then when the outline blinks, you can copy and paste it. The magnetic lasso tries to use the edges of things in your image to know where to go. So if I want to outline this man's face right here or his body, I can start here. I just click once and then start moving my mouse around his body. And you can see as I move around, this lasso tool kind of magnetically goes on the edge of things. Sometimes it's not perfect and we will be able to fix this later where the mistakes are, but it does a decent job and it does better when the edges of things are much different colors. Let me just go finish this quickly. So again, you have to go all the way to the edges. And again, you can just copy and paste and see that's your selection. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about how you refine the edges and fix those kinds of mistakes. But now I just want to go through the different selection tools and how they work. The quick selection tool is a very cool tool and the one that I actually use the most when I'm trying to make a selection of an object in a photo. So with the quick selection tool, you can change the size of the brush. Similar to how we did before, you can go up to this drop down, change the size up here, the hardness as well or you can press control option and drag left or right to increase or decrease the size if you're on a Mac or Windows Alt and then just click where you want to make a selection. It tries to intelligently select what you are trying to select. So say I want to select this hat, I'm just gonna go around, use the smart tool and start clicking in areas where the hat is. So you can see me kind of making the brush bigger and smaller depending on where I want it to go. And that's pretty much the whole hat. Now I can copy and paste. So now I just have his hat. Very cool.
Again, we're going to fix the, less, the, the edges in the next lesson. The last one is the magic wand. And what this does is it tries to select all of a similar color. So if I select this blue over here, it's going to try to select all of the blue in his sweater. The problem is that there's so many shades of blue, this blue is very detailed. It doesn't work too well. We could change the tolerance. If we go down to zero and select this, then it's super hard to select a lot of colors because it's literally just picking that pixel that you clicked on and it's trying to find other colors near it that are that exact color. If I go all the way to 100 though and click this, it selects a lot more. You see that it gets the shadows, the hair, the blues, so it's not just getting those blues. So you might have to play around with the tolerance going somewhere in the middle or so. The magic wand works really well when you're trying to select a lot of one color. So these are the different selection tools. In the next lesson, we'll talk about how you improve the edges when you try to make a selection.